Search for Dr. Panda. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Toto, that's an awesome train track you've built. What are you looking for? Oh, you're Teddy. I see. You wanted a passenger for your train. <laughs> uh, Toto, I, I don't think that Teddy is going to... Fit. Are you looking for a different passenger, Toto? Yeah! <laughs> choo choo choo! Let's go! Uh oh, the dinosaur didn't fit either. Oh, what's that for, Toto? <laughs> oh, I see. You've tied the giraffe to the train. Um, but, Toto? Oh, dear. The giraffe didn't fit either. Oh, no. No worries, Toto. I have an idea. Your toys won't fit through the tunnel because they're taller than the tunnel. <laughs> but if you measure how tall the tunnel is, you can pick a toy that's shorter than the tunnel. Yay! But what can you measure the tunnel with? I know! Huh? You can measure it with one of your feet. Can you help Toto measure how tall the tunnel is? Awesome! Let's get measuring. Let's see. The tunnel is one, two, three turtle feet high. Now all you have to do is find a toy which is shorter than three turtle feet. Let's get measuring. The elephant is one, two, three, four, five feet high. But the tunnel is three feet high. Your elephant is too huh? tall to go through your train tunnel, Toto. Aww. Aw, never mind, Toto. What about your rabbit? One, two, three, four. The rabbit is four feet high. Hmm, that's still too high for the tunnel. Huh? Yes, let's measure that mouse. One, two. The mouse is two feet high. That means it's shorter than the tunnel. Your toy mouse yeah. will fit. All <laughs> aboard. Let's go. Yay. Awesome, Toto. Oh, look. Huh? You're almost the same height as the tunnel, but just a little bit shorter. Oh, Toto, you're not too tall for the tunnel, but it looks like you're too wide. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around for more Toto Time episodes and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yay! <laughs>
You haven't finished fixing the track. Are you having trouble figuring out which train track pieces come next? <laughs> no worries, Hoopa. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Hoopa decide which piece comes next? Let's have a look. Let's see now. The train track has three gaps in it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Puzzle. We just need to select the right track piece for each gap so Hoopa can connect the tracks together. So for this gap, we can either use a straight piece, a piece that turns left, or a piece that turns right. Which piece does Hoopa need to put down first? Straight. That's right! The straight piece! Uh-oh! Here's the next gap in the track! Now, which piece does Hoopa need to put down to connect the tracks? Oh, you are so smart! Yeah, we need the piece that goes to the left! Okay, there's just one more missing piece of track. Which piece can we use here? <laughs> you got it! We need the piece that goes to the right! Awesome! Now the track is complete and Olek can get the train to the station! On to the next stop! What's going on, Olette? Why have you stopped the train again? <laughs> Looks like that's gonna take a while. <laughs> See you next time, everyone! Hi there, Mei Mei! Phew, it sure is hot today! Where are you traveling to? The swimming pool! What an awesome way to cool off! Do you know how to get there? Can we take a look at your train route map? Okay, so here we are at Panda Station. And Mei Mei needs to go to Panda Pool. Can you spot Panda Pool Station? That's right! <laughs> it's almost like a puzzle. Can you help us solve it? Let's see. Mei Mei needs to take the red line train for one, two, three stops. At the windmill station, she needs to switch to the blue line train. Then Mei Mei needs to take the blue line train for one, two stops to get to Panda Pool Station. So, all you need to do is follow this train map. Look, Mei Mei, the red train has arrived. <laughs> Better get on board. Okay, Mei Mei, why don't we take one more look at your map to make sure we switch trains at the right station. Ah! Oh no, Mei Mei, your map! Quick, get it! Oh, oh no, it's gone. Look, Mei Mei, Olette has a map. Do you remember the way to the swimming pool? <laughs> no worries, Mei Mei. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Mei Mei count the stops to the swimming pool? Let's get counting. We need to stay on the red line for three stops until we get to Windmill Station. Then we need to switch to the blue line. Here we are at the first stop. Oh, here we go! Off again! Here's the second stop! Oh, and this is stop number... Three! That's right, Toto! This is stop number three! The third stop! Time to switch to the blue line, Mei Mei! 
right, Mimi. This is the blue line, and we need to take it for two stops. Oh, here we are at the first stop. And this is the second stop. Pole, pole. Yes! Here you are, Mimi. Panda pool. Have fun at the pool. Huh? The pool is closed. <gasps> Where are you going, Mimi? <laughs> of course. You can always go for a swim at the beach. Have an awesome time, Mimi. <laughs> everyone! Today, Olette is riding the freight train! Choo-choo! Let's take a look at what she needs to deliver. Hi there, Olette! So, what do you have to deliver today? Let's see. The first cargo load is... A pile of bricks! And the second cargo load is... Melons. Yum, yum. And the last cargo load is... Uh, rubber duckies? <laughs> quack, quack. So who ordered all these things? Ah, so the bricks are for Hoopa. The watermelons are for Richie. And the rubber duckies are for Moo. Awesome. Let's get all this stuff delivered. <laughs> What's the matter, Olette? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. How will you know who to deliver your cargo to now? <coughs> no worries, Olette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Olette find out who ordered which item? Awesome! First stop, Hoopa's construction site. Can you tell which cargo is meant for Hoopa? The bricks? The watermelons or the rubber duckies? Ducky, ducky. <laughs> well, I'm sure Hoopa would love all those duckies, but they won't help him build a house. Yep, that's right. It's the bricks. All right, that's one happy customer. Here we are at the next stop, Richie's Supermarket. Now, which cargo do you think Richie ordered? The watermelons or the rubber duckies? <laughs> yep, you got it, the watermelons. He must be having a watermelon sale at his supermarket this weekend. Whoops, are you all right, Richie? Another happy customer! Next stop, Moose Farm! Now the only cargo left is all these rubber duckies, so they must be yours! Here you go, Moo! Ducky! What are you going to do with all those rubber duckies, Moo? Huh? You didn't order them? Oh, well then who did? <laughs> Looks like your chickens have been doing some shopping, Moo. Hmm, I wonder what else your chickens have ordered. <laughs> Another happy customer, Alette. Bye-bye, Moo. Hi, chicks. Hi, everyone. Today, Olette's working at the Panda City train station, making sure all the trains leave on time. Choo-choo! <laughs> Let's go see how she's doing! Hi there, Olette! Oh, looks like there's a storm coming. What time is the train leaving, Olette? Clock, tick, tock, tick, tock. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's five o'clock. Bolt hit the clock and broke it. Ah, uh, don't worry, Yolette. Hoopa can fix anything. Oh, careful there, Hoopa. Uh-oh, the clock isn't showing the right time. Now you won't know when the trains have to leave. You need to reset it. No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you reset the clock. So, what time do we need to reset the clock to? It is six o'clock. Six. We have to reset the clock to six o'clock. Can you help Olette reset the clock? Let's get started. The big hand shows the minutes on the clock. And the small hand shows the hours on the clock. When the big hand points to the number 12 and the small hand points to the number 1, it means it's 1 o'clock. Olette needs to move the small hand around the clock to set it to 6 o'clock. Let's get counting. So, now it's two o'clock. Two. And this is three o'clock. Three. And that's four o'clock. Four. And five o'clock. <laughs> five. And here we are, six o'clock. Six, yay. Great job, guys! The clock's reset to the correct time! The clock's working perfectly again! <laughs> well, it's almost perfect! <laughs> See you next time, Olette! Bye! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> It's a beautiful day, Olette's on her train Wait to hear the whistle blow and we'll be on our way Oh, the train on the track goes clickety-clack When the signal shows The train on the track goes clickety-clack When the whistle blows It's a beautiful day, Olette drives her train Riding through the countryside, everybody wave. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety-clack. Give the bell a ring. The train on the track goes clickety-clack. When the bell goes ding, ding, ding. Chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a woo woo. Chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a woo woo. Clickety clickety clack clack clack. The train sings along the track. Yes, it does. Everyone sitting comfortably. Okay. It's a beautiful day. Oh, that wakey wake. We're nearly there. Put on those brakes that squeak and squeal. Okay. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety clack. It's been a lovely ride. The train on the track goes clickety clack. It's time to say goodbye.